Hi, this is Travis from POSKies.com. Today we're going to go over the top receipt printers for 2020. These printers are all currently available or available soon. And uh, this is going to be kind of the top five with some honorable mentions uh, for the, kind of the best receipt printers out there. In the number five slot with its honorable mention is the POSIX High Speed. So POSIX and Custom, as the new parent company is known by, um, has several different receipt printers in different price brackets. They have the Custom K3, which is this one here, which is um, a slightly bigger printer than the high speed from a profile standpoint. Um, and it has a few more bells and whistles. It's a little faster. Uh, it has a fancier driver package that allows graphics to be used. It has a capacitive button for opening and closing. But what the high speed has that the K3 doesn't is a lower price point as well as uh, compatibility. So the emulation package for the driver emulates an Epson better than the K3. So we found more universal compatibility when it comes to using uh, the high speed printer versus the K3. Uh, speed wise, you're above 10 inches per second. It's very, very close in speed to uh, the highest speed printers in uh, the market, around 12 inches per second. Uh, it is just at a lower price point, but what really makes POSIX Custom great is their support. It's all US-based support. The techs are very well versed in their products. They have them in front of them. Uh, they can walk you through setting up drivers, configuring it with your software, troubleshooting it. Uh, if you need to replace certain parts on it, they can do it. Uh, things like uh, the interface card in the back of the printer. If you want to buy like a USB version today and then switch to an ethernet version later, they can walk you through doing that. And they also work with our internal support uh, to kind of team troubleshoot any kind of issues that uh, our mutual customers they might come across. So uh, the best thing about POSIX is their support, their products are solid. Uh, they don't really do anything that any other printer does, um, but overall they're in our five slot because of their great support. So number four on the list is the Citizen CTE351. This little printer here is their most affordable printer out of their uh, standard receipt printer line and it is the only front exit printer out of the bunch and it does this while being uh, drop in loading. So you just get your paper, drop it in through the top and it's good to go. So um, this is a nice feature if you're working in an environment where there's spills because if you have like a drink that could fall on your POS station, water won't get into the inside of the printer. It makes it a little more splash resistant and a little more durable in that regard. It's, uh, there's even like a little lip around here to make sure that water doesn't get in. Um, so that's kind of what makes this printer special. It does Epson emulation again, it has decent print speed around 10 inches per second, uh, and it comes in black and gray. Overall, very compact, and uh, that durability is a nice feature on it. So that's why the Citizen is in the number four slot. Number three is gonna be an Epson printer, uh, and number two is also an Epson printer. So two and three are both Epsons, and it kind of depends on what you're looking for. So the T22 and the soon-to-release T23 and the Epson TMT-88-6 uh, are the, the number three and number two printers. So the T22 and the 86, the big difference between them is speed, warranty, durability, as well as future configurations of it. So the T20 has a hardwired interface on it. So you buy an interface, either buy Epson, uh, USB or you buy ethernet, uh, serial parallel, whatever you buy is what you're going to get. The 886 has a card system where you can swap out this card. So you can buy serial today, switch to USB tomorrow, switch to ethernet, uh, switch to Wi-Fi, 
whatever you want to use down the road, it's configurable. Uh, this printer is faster, it has a uh, more cuts on the cutter, it has a better print head that lasts longer, so overall it's a more durable printer that will last you longer. The price point though is also higher, so you're kind of going whether you want a very affordable, budget-friendly printer that prints fast enough, it's in the 8 inches per second range, um, or do you need 12 inches per second where you be the TMT86. So that's kind of up to you depending on what your business is. Um, either one of these prints really be really good. Um, this is in the number two spot um, because uh, as far as Windows printers go, this is the one that everyone is trying to copy. So th this is the emulation standard. Whenever people are writing point of sale software and they're creating receipts, they write it for a TMT-886. So um, that's why it's, it's kind of in that number two spot as far as Windows printer go. It's the king of printers. The number one slot goes to the Star TSP-100-3. And honorable mention goes to the TSP-650. The 650 and 100 are similar in price, but what makes the 100 very popular and um, a better buy than the 650 is compatibility with iOS. So as far as a universal printer for a bunch of different iOS apps, the closest you're going to get is the TSP100. The more apps are written for the 100 than any of the other printers out there. The 650 has some better features than the 100, but people aren't programming for the 650 so you can't use it. Uh, as far as Windows goes, you can swap between the two. They both work equally good in Windows. Uh, in Windows, you write for the star emulation and you just set up your printer in the software and it'll work for either one, long as the software and the star emulation. Epson emulation and the star emulation are close, but there is subtle differences, so your receipt will look slightly off if you get a star printer when you need Epson emulation and vice versa. Uh, what the 100 doesn't do that the 650 does is that the 650 has a card system like the Epson. So you can switch that out. You know, again, buy USB today, switch the Ethernet tomorrow, switch the Bluetooth tomorrow. Whatever 100 you buy today is the one you're going to have. The card system doesn't swap. Uh, the power supply is built into it. So in order to power this, all you need to do is plug a power cord into it where pretty much all these other printers have an external power supply. It looks like this and then the power cord plugs into it. So the good thing about an external power supply is running the cable. It's a lot easier to make a hole in your counter and push this through than it is to get a, the head of a full trapezoidal power cable. Those are just a little bigger and uh, yet the hole has to be that much bigger where this hole is a lot smaller. So as far as trying to discreetly hide all the cables, power supplies are great. However, that is just one more piece of cabling that kind of gets tucked under your counter. So there's pros and cons to both things, but the TSP100, um, a very simple printer, but more universal compatibility with this printer than any of the other printers when it comes to Android, iOS, Windows. It's just kind of your, your chances of it working are higher. Uh, that being said, if the app that you're using doesn't use the Star TSP100, then it won't work. Apps in iOS are for very, very specific printers. It's not for a printer family. It's for a very for just that printer and that printer only. So make sure you do your research ahead of time and you buy the printer that works for your application. So overall, that is our top five printers, POSIX, Citizen, Epson, and Star TSP100. Uh, for more information on any of these printers or to purchase, please visit us at posguys.com. Thanks.